In this video, we'll discover about what are healthy habits. It is logical to start this video course by investigating healthy habits. So we will highlight the characteristics of healthy habits and remind you about what really matters the most in life. What matters the most in life? In the midst of the craze and rush of the modern world, many people forget the most important things in life. It is this lack of getting our priorities right that is responsible for the rate of depression in the world today. They keep wondering what is missing. The answer is not far-fetched. Here are some of the most important things in life that many people neglect. Loved ones. The desire to be rich and famous has made many people forget that it's lonely at the top when you're not there with your loved ones. In reality, there are some situations in which we lose our loved ones to accidents. However, in some cases they leave us because we are selfish and don't have regard for them. King Midas, in ancient Greek mythology, learned the hard way that no amount of treasure in this world could replace his daughter. Happiness. Happiness is the greatest pursuit of man, even though many people don't realize it. The reason you want to chase and live your dream is that you want to be happy. In other words, they chased the big life because they thought it would make them happy, only to realize that they felt hollow and empty after achieving their targets. Enjoying the camaraderie of your loved ones is enough to make you happy. Still, if you find yourself among people who love and respect you regardless of what you have, you will understand that happiness is in the simple things of life. Health. Note that health is not simply the absence of diseases, according to the World Health Organization. It's harder to be happy or enjoy the company of your loved ones when you are sick, so you should never toy with it. Your job schedule must not make you have less regard for your health. If you don't treat your body well, it will soon go on strike or evict you. It wants to be respected, and you will wake up to a rude shock when you aren't doing what you ought to do. Health is wealth. Many people say the above maxim is almost becoming a cliché and losing its relevance. Health is wealth, and there is no doubt about it. Even when it is minor, you will find it difficult to be at your best when you don't have sound health. Moreover, you need to be healthy to enjoy your success. You should take an excursion to the hospital once in a while to learn more vital lessons in life. They have money, but they don't have the sound health that money cannot buy. The fact that you can afford an expensive meal doesn't mean that you should buy it. Success is only worth it when you are in good health and can enjoy it with people that mean the world to you. What makes a habit healthy? We will end this section by identifying the qualities of healthy habits in order to help you identify them and avoid destructive ones. Beneficial to the individual in the long run. It is crucial to mention that a habit should be beneficial in the long run before it can be considered to be healthy. For example, smoking settles the desire to feel calm in the short run. However, it affects the lung and other parts of the body eventually. So if a habit cannot make you stay healthy in the long run, you shouldn't let the short-term benefits blindfold you. Beneficial to others. When something is beneficial to you but hurts others, it's not a good habit. We have to be conscious about how our actions affect the people around us. The fact that a company is boosting the economy and and raking in a lot of money doesn't mean it has the freedom to jeopardize our health. We should apply the same principle when evaluating our habits. For example, sexual promiscuity might make you feel good immediately. In some cases, it might even affect the person physically if you infect him or her with sexually transmitted diseases from unprotected sex. Beneficial to your physical and mental health. It's in your best interest to consider how your actions affect both your physical and mental health. So the fact that an action doesn't have a direct impact on your physical health doesn't mean it's right for you. Nonetheless, if you are told to do unethical things that don't align with your conscience, you'll not be happy. The feeling of dissatisfaction will become more intense when you realize that your activities are hurting people. For example, when you're not in a good mood, it's not likely that you have an appetite. So a good habit doesn't only have physical health benefits, it should have mental health advantages. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.